time in ages I was nervous. Not normally bothered at all, you know what I mean? Half past Captain Gatso, who will come on and tell us about the uh, about scandal. I've just been speaking to him here. Right, when are we putting the stream on? The stream will be going on. Com. And don't forget the two is a number two. You will be redirected to my own personal site at the moment. We've still got a few technical issues, shall we say, uh, with the website. So don't worry about that. Everything is there. There's also a live stream. So if your friends haven't yet got the app, they can listen on the web as well. And don't forget, oh, this is good. Rodney in Cambridgeshire has come through on Twitter. He says, I've got permission off the boss, brackets the wife, to put you on the speakers in our unit at work. We're not going to get much work done today, thank you. Is it for working class people or people from lower pay to send their kids? Of course there is. And it's not just this government, because don't forget it was Clegg, and don't forget it was also Labour as well. Even though the whole of Blair's Cabinet had gone on a grant, they started charging kids to get educated in this country. With one of the richest countries in the world, Education should be basically free for all and it should be a bloody meritocracy. But they don't want that because they don't want low pay working class people in those positions. They talk about diversity but they don't really want it because people like me and you Ruth and those kind of people disrupt their cosy little lifestyle. Which is why you can't put a poppadom between the main political parties in this country when it comes to policy. Yeah? Oh you can now because of Corbyn. But go on, what do you want to say? London. I can't believe how many callers we've got. Thanks to everyone who's made this possible. You know who you are. Uh, Dave Earl, uh, Bam Bam, uh, Nick the Knob, Rosie, my daughter on the knobs, Bethany, and of course, uh, Lisa, my beautiful wife, Martin, my partner. Well, everybody here at How & Co, we've actually made it happen. We're redefining radio. It is the home of free speech. We'll do it all again tomorrow, if you fancy. I said that to Lisa last night. She gave me a slap round the chops. Radio, the authentic voice of every single Tom, Dick and Abdul.